Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for September 7th. We're doing this early today because I have such a full schedule all day and all night, and you know, so anyway. This is for September 7th. Let's just see what comes up. This is a daily reading. This reading may or may not be for you. Um, this is not sign specific. So if this reading is for somebody, you know, just watch it and take what resonates and leave the rest. It may, the whole thing may resonate or it may not. Uh, the timing is fluid. Um, let's just see what comes up. So the first thing I see is the eight of wands. This is messages. This is things moving forward. Uh, news arriving, whether, you know, I don't know what this news is, but news is going to be arriving. Um, whatever this news is, is going to help somebody to move forward in a new direction. It's going to point them in a new direction. Um, I think it's positive, whatever this news is. I, you know, in the end, it's going to be positive, put it that way. Um... Yeah, something is changing. It's like what goes around comes around. I was just focusing on the eight, okay? That is the infinity. You know, this is something, you know, coming back around by the looks of things. I'm not sure what it is. But I think it's heading in a positive direction. It's positive. I feel like it's positive. Um, I don't know. I just saw the two of cups. So that is very positive. A union, a partnership, something coming back around. Very passionate as well with that Eight of Wands. There could be it could be very passionate. Uh, now I see the Ten of Pentacles, which is prosperity, legacy, abundance, working together as a team. You know, working as a group or feeling very comfortable. But uh, this could be the beginning of a new foundation that leads to something long term. I don't know, um, but the Ten of Pentacles is is prosperity. Um, it's being very comfortable at home. Somebody may be at home feeling very comfortable at ease. Um, but I feel it's, it may, I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is, could also be a change in your home. It could be a change in your family legacy. That just came to me as well. So there's something to do with your family on this day. Um, news about the family. Um, Four of Cups reverse. This is seizing a new opportunity. Four of Cups is better in reverse than it is upright. Okay? This is letting go of regret. It's the end of stagnation. This is somebody that is now interested, looking forward now. It's like they see the op they're taking the opportunity. Okay? Upright, this is like death. Okay? It's like a dead end. They're not, there's, this is a loss. Okay, it's a lost, missed opportunity. In reverse, it's like a taking the opportunity, seeing the opportunity, seeing it clearly. This is an opportunity, taking it. So somebody is taking an opportunity. We have the High Priestess reversed. Now, this is um, unaware, unpredictable. I feel as though we have somebody here that may not be aware that somebody is about to step up. Maybe you didn't see it coming. Something is about to be revealed. It's like they can't, so this is like there's, this is, you can't hide, your, hide it. It's unhideable. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Going back. It's like somebody is 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 going back to something. They they see an opportunity and they're going back. It's like they don't want to leave it behind. Hmm. Something is coming back around. That's what this is. Something is coming back around. You may not be aware that this could be love, or maybe they weren't aware that this is love. I mean, the Four of Cups, reverse, this is love. So, this is love, and seizing an opportunity for love. Nine of Swords. Woo, we have somebody here that has been really stressing, really stressing. Huh. 
worried. This person has been worried, having a hard time, having a lot of negative thoughts, maybe even some fear. Really worried, not really focusing. This person is has been kind of like... I feel like this person has been wallowing in their own pain. What is it? Uh, moping? Having a hard time getting up and facing the day because they, they may feel so alone. This person feels very, very alone. This person is unaware that somebody is thinking about them. So this person is, is sitting around moping, crying, or having a hard time, very depressed. Having negative thoughts about something that didn't come to fruition or didn't happen in the way that they thought it was going to happen, which has caused them to really have a hard time coping. But this is seizing a new opportunity. So I'm not sure. This is seizing a new opportunity. Ooh, Ten of Swords. This is over. This is the end of, of pain, okay? Somebody has really reached the end of suffering or reached the, really been through a really painful situation, put it that way. We have somebody here that has, uh, this person may be feeling very empty or even dead inside, really, really hurt, stabbed right in the heart, stabbed in the chest, really defeated. This is the death. This is the this is the end. It's the end. It's the end of suffering. So it is the death. It's like this person thinks there's no going back. And maybe there is no going back. This person may be like, you know what? The person I was dealing with had secrets and hidden agendas. It's, you know, I have to deal with this pain. I have to accept this pain. Now this is a this is like I said at the beginning this is the death and this is a death this is a death okay this is this is a death so um three of swords oh my god three of swords even though it's reversed it's the end it's the end I can't hold on to this pain anymore Somebody may be asking for forgiveness or they may need to forgive. It's time to let go of the past hurts. It's like you, it's time to maybe seize a new opportunity. It's a seizing a new opportunity. This is the, this is the first card. It's time to really let go of those past hurts. It's time to stop thinking about whatever betrayed you to the point of a near death experience. Okay. It's time to let go of those past hurts. It's time to stop looking back. It's time to, you know, somebody's been through a loss of self. They've been through some sort of repression and it's time to live again. Okay, it's time to live again. It's time to stop holding on to that pain and that hurt. So I feel like we, some the very first, somebody sees a new opportunity. It's like it's time to take this new opportunity. Time to start fresh, the Fool card, starting from scratch, starting with a clean slate. So I feel like we have somebody here that is ready to leave the past hurts behind and start over. So, you know, somebody has been clinging to control. They've been unable to start over, but I feel like we have a fresh start here. This is starting from scratch. It's like letting go, letting go of the pain, that the pain and the suffering. So, yeah. It's the end of suffering. It is. Somebody's about to start start over. Oh, we just had these fall out. Nine of Cups. Your deep fulfillment is coming. Nine of Cups reversed. Deep fulfillment is coming. The dissatisfaction that you have been through. It's over. It's over. It is. The worst is over. Seven of Wands, there's no need to to uh, compete anymore. This competition is over. Ah, and the Knight of Cups reversed. Amazing. Amazing. We had, we had the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Wands and the three cards that fell out yesterday. They were both upright. Now they're both reversed. 
there's there we have somebody here that has decided to leave that dissatisfying situation behind they realized that they were dealing with somebody that well if you think about yesterday's reading somebody that was full of shit okay so this is this is uh there's no relationship growth here um i gotta do what's right for me and i gotta go find the wish fulfillment so i feel like we have somebody here that is has made a decision really that it's time to start over and let this this fight that this uh need to be involved in this go you know I, the seven of wands reverse it's like they, somebody has been has has been misjudged somebody has been overly criticized somebody has been in some kind of battle and it's like a battle with somebody that here's our love bomber you know they've been in this some sort of battle with this person who is emotionally unavailable and it's like there's no wish fulfillment there it's been very dissatisfying and the only way to have wish fulfillment is to do what's right for me and bow out so i feel like we have somebody here that is deciding with that four of cups reverse that you know that i want big love i want better love i see in a bigger opportunity for love this is not how the story ends and they decide that you know i can't live like this anymore i can't live like this i can't so i feel like we have somebody they get some sort of epiphany you know or they get some sort of message remember i saw that eight of wands you know that it's time to uh let go of this this stagnant situation it's time to accept something else time to look for something else um so it looks to me as though somebody got themselves inside into some sort of false um relationship okay where there was a lot of criticism there was a lot of bickering there was a lot of uh defensiveness you know between both sides needing to defend yourself because the other person was so defensive the other person was so critical i think we got somebody here that has has reached rock bottom and they they've come to the point where you know it's time for me to fly that is the fool it's time for me to fly and let go of this even though it hurts it hurts like hell i can see that it hurts like hell but it feels like hell it feels like hell because somebody has lost themselves and it's like they haven't been listening to their intuition and they've been stalling and it's been holding them back. Somebody has been held back by their own demons, by their own fears, their own thoughts. It's hard to let go of something that broke you. You know, the fact that, you know, it, you allowed it to break you, it can be... Um, It's almost like an insult to yourself that you let that happen. So I feel as though we have somebody here that needs to let go of their regrets and realize that, you know, this is all part of the process. It's all part of the plan. You know, there's a fresh start here. There's a new beginning here. I feel like we have somebody here that is about to break free of something that really, really hurt them. So I feel like today is a day of new beginnings. Somebody facing their fears, because that's what the fool does. This is exciting. It really is. This is an exciting time to start over. So I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding to do what's right for them and go after something bigger, something better. One card, please. We have a completion here. We do. With these tens, we have a completion. This ending leads to a new beginning. Four of Wands. This 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 leads to happiness, extreme happiness, a new commitment, a new foundation. Somebody is crossing that bridge, the bridge to a better life. I feel as though 
you know, something beautiful is about to happen. If you are completely single, you could be meeting somebody at some sort of celebration in the next near future, maybe in the next four days. If you are single, um, there could be a celebration in the next four days or some, I don't know where four days is coming from. We start with a four and we end with a four. That is the last card that I'm pulling. So something to do with four. There is a new beginning here um, that is going to lead to a lot of happiness after a lot of suffering. So if you have decided to search for something else, if you have decided to let go of a painful situation, as even though it hurts like hell, there is happiness here for you. There is happiness that is coming. Don't look back, please. Do not, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, do not look back at the person that, you know, drained your soul, okay? Do not look back, okay? Because there's somebody else here that could make you really, really, really happy. But you have to find it within yourself, to know your value and to know your worth. Okay? If you don't know your worth and you go back, you will continue to learn the same lessons that you learned, that you didn't learn. So this is this wheel of fortune says if you keep going back, you're not going to get what you deserve. You're not going to get that fortune. Going back is not going to give get you what you deserve. It's not going to get you this. You are being told to not look back and to step into unknown territory, to start over, to start fresh. So we have somebody here that is all gloomy and depressed, thinking that nobody is coming. Somebody is coming. Okay? Somebody is coming. Please don't look back. I feel like deep fulfillment is coming with somebody. And you may not see it coming. Have faith, okay? Have faith. Happiness is coming. If you are in a relationship now, I feel like we have somebody here that is breaking free. This, this is breaking free from a very troubled, painful situation. There's no success. And it's time to be happy. So that's what I see. Good luck.